Hello, Salem. I'm your mayor, Chuck Bennett, and I'm delighted to have the opportunity to bring you news and information about what's happening at the city of Salem. Back in May, we had the pleasure of speaking with the Salem Housing Authority Administrator, who shared with us the wonderful new housing project called Redwood Crossing, which will help address the critical needs for unsheltered residents and those at risk of homelessness. Well, I'm pleased to announce that the groundbreaking will, can, will be occurring sometime in August. Please be sure to check out the city's news webpage and follow the Housing Authority on Facebook for the actual date. I also want to let you know that the video series is going from weekly updates to monthly updates starting with this episode. So please be sure to send me your suggestions for future guest topics. Today I'm happy to have with me Justin Martin. Justin is the City of Salem's uh, special representative to the state legislature and we're going to talk with him about the important work he does to advocate for the residents of Salem. Well, Justin, thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, you were reminding me, you and I have known each other for quite a while, so it, uh, uh, it's really a pleasure to have you come on and talk about being the, uh, the government affairs representative for the city over at state legislature. What is probably the biggest issue as you see it from the city of Salem kind of being asked of you as our representative over there? Yeah, a couple things. One, in general, I mean, I think we're always looking for funding yeah. from the state legislature. So I really consider that kind of one of our main goals or objective. What can we get from the state to really help the citizens of Salem? Whether that's our water projects that are of uh, the utmost importance right now, whether that's funding for homelessness, whether that's funding for transportation, whether that's urban renewal and, and economic development, those are all kind of under the purview. But really, uh, when we discuss things with the legislature, that eye on funding is absolutely critical and how we fit those pieces of the puzzle together for the benefit of our citizens that, is really that, my main job. So in the news right now, uh, it sounds like the legislature is coming back into town. When do you expect to see them back and what do you expect to see on the agenda relative to funding for the city of Salem? Yeah, uh, you know, to say it's a difficult time right now, you know, would be an absolute understatement. Yeah. But we have been able through technology to get together, whether that's a Zoom call or whether those are just conference calls or whether those are conversations with our elected officials to really kind of keep them aware of what's going on in the city and what our needs are. So early we saw a special session that dealt with just policy issues. Now we're going into a budgetary phase. And as we all know, uh, the state has really been hit. Um, the city's been hit, all governments have been hit, so now it's trying to find out or map out a way in which we can still get some of those funds for projects that have already been started and already at, are at work in the field. How do we do that? So I don't know a date yet, but probably before uh, Labor Day weekend, sometime the legislature will get back together and it's really key to continue communicating with those elected officials so they, they know what, what Salem residents really need in terms of the projects that have already been started. One of the news stories about this was that Salem had a major water project and boy, it looked like the money wouldn't be there. Is that right? Did, did that reporter get that right? <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. I mean, okay. uh, yes, we got the money in the 2019 session, about $20 million to help with our overall water uh, infrastructure project. Unfortunately, that money's not there because that was reliant on a bond sale in the future in 2021. That being said, we have since pulled back, realized the situation, and started doing outreach and having those conversations with those elected officials that I talked about earlier and the co-chairs of Ways and Means, the, you know, the budget committee that deals with these types of issues. So folks are aware of the true need that we have in Salem uh, for that for that water system. So I'm I'm optimistic. We're still that things, in the game. That we are still in the, we're absolutely in the game and I'm okay. optimistic that uh, those projects that have been started will be funded uh, to a certain level or a certain degree that, that, that really makes an impact. Are there any uh, issues you see coming toward us in the regular session which will be in January that uh, you'd just like to kind of mention? Yeah again uh, you know continuance of those water projects 
transportation issues, obviously homelessness. Uh, we had a package, we had some funding coming out of the last legislature before that abruptly ended. Um, so I'm optimistic some of those, uh, some of those things will, will present themselves and, and we'll be ready for that situation. We're already laying the groundwork. Oftentimes people say, what do, what do government affairs people do in the interim? Uh, that's really when we get most of our work done. That's, yeah. We've built the relationships, those are the conversations that we continue to have. So those elected officials know up front going into that session what our needs are and uh, we've been laying that groundwork and I'm pretty optimistic. Great. Well, we've sure been thrilled with the job you've done, uh, Justin. I'm looking forward to meeting with you again. Expect, a, expect an invite here coming up soon. Thank you very much for being with me today. Thanks, Mr. Mayor.